This is Vlog Dog, the weekly vlog all about golf wing. Golf wing. Welcome everybody to Vlogna episode 2. Now we're going to get down to business and talk about some news, things that are circulating in the hemisphere world of odd futures. So first thing, uh, the most important thing that I think I've read in the last few weeks is that Tyler is having a song with Miley Cyrus. Now, your initial instinct and my initial instinct is probably the same. It's like, what the... Right? Like, why is... Tyler and Miley Cyrus having a song together who are, you know, pretty much complete opposites when it comes to, you know, <clears throat> what they produce musically. So at first, uh, I was a little turned off by this. This is weird. But then when you really think about it and you actually read what uh, Miley Cyrus has said in her uh, article with Cosmopolitan or whatever, uh, she said that, you know, she wrote this song with Mary J. Blige. Tyler heard the song, was obsessed with it, and, you know, he felt the need that he needed to be on that track. So, I mean, you know, part of me trusts his, his, you know, his musical mindset. So, I mean, this song might really be something special. And, the, you know, he added a verse to it. So this might be something that we could all enjoy. Um, who knows? It's just kind of something we have to wait and see. Uh, really interesting, though. And it's kind of funny to see because uh, Miley Cyrus has kind of played in a part played a part in our future for a while. I mean, they've had the, the shirts, and we all know Jasper, you know, he's rapped some lines about Miley, and uh, and it's, it's just funny to see it all kind of come together uh, with a song with Tyler and Miley. So it's really it's really going to be interesting to see. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing it, uh, hopefully sometime soon. The next big news is uh, the Loiter Squad 2 teaser trailer. Um, we all know Season 2 has been coming for a while, but now uh, we get a little glimpse of what it's going to be like. There's a little, you know... So that little clip of the zombie shit. I've seen pictures of it before, but uh, I've never actually seen it in video. Haji was in there, so uh, it's March something. I forget. I think it's March 10th. I'm looking forward to the new season. Uh, the show was pretty good last season. It wasn't like the most funny thing ever, but it's just funny to see those guys kind of dick around uh, and have a good time. So I'm really looking forward to see season two. Maybe they'll uh, take that show to the next level and might appeal to people who aren't just Odd Future fans. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, something I mentioned in the last video briefly, but uh, Earl Sweatshirt is going to Coachella, and I think that is big news. Uh, Coachella is one of the biggest music festivals that happens every year. Uh, I'm wearing my Coachella sweater from last year. <clears throat> it's my hometown, so any type of Coachella news is really big to me, and I'm glad to see Earl's going. Uh, this is the third year in a row Odd Future has played a part in Coachella. Last year, Frank Ocean went. And the year before that is when Odd Future went, and that kind of changed everything for them. So I'm really curious to see Earl's performance um, because it's a solo show. That's how it's listed. But I wonder if that's how it's actually going to play part because well, Earl has his original mixtape album, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then he just has Chum uh, with his solo stuff. And, you know, I think half of his songs off the Earl uh, are featured with Tyler. So I'm, I'm curious to see if Tyler will come out and do some songs with him. Or if it's just going to turn into a whole Odd Future show. Like, there was that Earl Wolf show in New York, and that just turned out to be a whole Odd Future show. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think Earl could handle a solo show all by himself? I'm not sure if he could, but it would be really interesting to see, and uh, I would be happy if he did. It would be a nice change of pace. I've been to a lot of Odd Future shows now, so it would be nice to just see an Earl show. Uh, nonetheless, when that happens in April, I will get full footage of it and upload it here right away so you guys can check it out. Um, so make sure you subscribe, like the video, and uh, leave some comments. Um, that's really it, guys. Not too much big news happening right now. Hopefully we'll get some hard evidence on a Wolf release date soon or maybe a Doris release date. So I'm just waiting on some really big news. That's it for now, guys. Peace.